Hi and welcome to the CDNR Railroad. Uh, it's been a while since I've made um, any videos, but uh, I've been working on the railroad here on my um, Illinois uh, rock and gravel. It's a fictional uh, scene. I've been posting some video or uh, photos on Facebook, and I uh, posted this yesterday of my loader that I had uh, weathered and. I got just a lot of likes on it, a few people wondering, you know, how I'd done it and everything. So I thought, why not maybe just make a quick little video on how you can simply weather uh, your models. There's, there's more than one way of doing it. And so please un understand that this is just the way I do it. Maybe wrong, maybe right, but it gives the effect of a... That I feel of a well used um, loader. So one of the first things that I did is I use this. I believe it's pronounced the Valero um, model color uh, matte varnish here, and um, it uh, you I spray that on with a um, airbrush and uh, onto a model like this one here. And it, it takes the uh, shine off of it, gives it some tooth for my, um, I use um, pan pastel uh, chalks is what I use. And there's various colors that comes in these little containers of different ones. And I've got the grays, the blacks, and the browns. But really all I need to use on this one since I'm uh, modeling for a gravel company are a couple grays that I decided and a little bit of the rust. And I do have some of the uh, poly scale, um, a, a gray to show some of the wear on, on the bucket. This just is some CSX gray that I happen to have. And some uh, rust is what I use for that. Small little paintbrush. Another paintbrush that becomes my applicator for my chalk is puts on a bigger area. And then a little bit stiffer brush that um, for if you want to get a little detail on it. Um, I really don't seal this model either once I'm done because if you do spray it, everything lightens up. Come in, you do it again, you spray it, it lightens all back up again. So if you're not going to handle this model much, I just wouldn't even worry about sealing it. Now, if it's a, if it's a freight car, you're going to hand, handle a lot. Maybe you, you should. I haven't got into much weathering yet. Uh, that's one of the things I really want to get into. But this is just something that um, I kind of poked around with yesterday and was very happy with the result. Anyway, I masked off my windshields here with some of this blue uh, painter's tape. Don't have to be exactly perfect, but when I sprayed it that way, otherwise the windshield becomes a complete cloud and you can't really clean it too well. And uh, my fingers are painting from where I've been painting some conveyors and stuff. So, anyway, but really, um, what I did here on, on my bucket was uh, you can get online and you can see these pictures of how a bucket wears but usually when you go into a pile of gravel it will wear all this down in into here will be worn maybe not the entire side is completely worn off but it's scratched up and er everything else usually the in insides got wear too uh, and it would kind of uh, come up into here a little bit not the whole bucket really doesn't get uh, worn out completely unless it's really 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 an old loader and you got a lot of wear onto the bottom especially heavy wear on your skid plates here is extremely wear worn and if it's a newer loader these would get scuffed but not as shiny or worn as much as this one is now in a, um, if it's used a lot yes it's going to be worn so basically I just took my brush and I, I just kind of started, uh, I kind of did the, uh, just like so. And it don't have to be perfect because everything gets 
is worn. It depends on if you've got up against something. And again, you don't have to be perfect. And this is a flat finish, so it'll dry flat. And I just also on the in, inside, I just kind of did uh, some of the same things where it kind of wore it out. I'm not going to do the whole thing here. Don't want to bore you to death with it or go, hey, he's doing it the wrong way. But this is just one of the ways that I do it. And there's multiple different ways that you can do things. So please un understand, I'm not telling you this is how this has to be done. So, but you can kind of see the idea that I'm getting here. You, you may not do the entire, if this is a little bit newer loader, like I said, you can leave some of the area where it's not quite completely filled in. I'm going to have this one where it's a newer loader, but it's been used heavy. It's in the gravel industry, so it gets used daily. Uh, handling big rock, little rock, uh, just a little bit of everything in in the rock area. So it would get, I'm sure none, none of the guys are really easy on, on their loaders. They probably just run into a pile like I would, get my, my load up and be back for another one. So you, you just put some of this paint on here like so and like I said, if you have no clue what a loader bucket looks like on where, you can get online and you can find a lot of this uh, photos. Just type in uh, loaders or dozers or what, whatever. I mean, I have a bulldozer that I'm going to do the same thing with. Um, you can get online and find all the information that you want to have um, on these things and go buy a photo. Um, I happen to own some backhoes and stuff, so I kind of know how they wear. So I really didn't have to look in to really kind of see how it was. Um, I, I just know how the paint wears off these buckets and how, how they get uh, dirty, how they get used. So again, there's no science to, to this. Um, there it, it it really isn't there's just really no science to it just you can't really go wrong here with with the bucket if you don't like the way it looks you can add more paint it's not a it's not oh my gosh I messed up what do I do now you just add more paint to it and I'm sure anybody who's weathered uh, knows they've got their way of doing it but uh, this is this is just how I'm going to do it, so please bear with me. It may be wrong to your standards, but again, it's model railroading. It's your model railroad. You do it the way you want to do it, and don't let anyone tell you different. Always be open to suggestions, but you may not always be able to get it exactly right. I'm going to get some brown here, and... Um, I'm going to put a little bit of that where it doesn't quite maybe uh, up up in here. I didn't wash my brush out here because uh, you can get the effect of the brown going on differently. But you can put brown on to the sides where it's scuffed up a little. It's wore the paint off, but it doesn't always get used the same. So... Maybe it's it's not always worn identical or worn off, all, you know, shiny is what I'm trying to say. So, and again, just kind of look at the photos. If you're not quite sure how things wear, uh, a bucket will not stay looking new long, especially when you're using it in a gravel industry or anything. I mean, you're you're moving any kind of dirt, gravel, but gravel and concrete's really hard on a loader bucket. Scratches it up a lot. And again, I'm I'm doing this kind of quick, so you know, I'll I'll probably come back in and I'll touch it up a little. There there there's always a little bit of uh, wear, you know, some on the back, but especially uh, around some of the joint areas uh like down in here, uh there would be a little little bit of wear in there you get some rusts 
down in here some. Okay, and you can also, if you wanted to kind of fill, you know, do do these cylinders where they've kind of hooked them around, they don't really look, look real. I mean, if you want to take them off and redo them, you can, but you could paint that a little bit so it disguises that. So, I mean, I think you get the idea here. Uh, usually on the back of a loader, uh, we've always ran into things. <laughs> it seems like there, there's always something that you might have scratched. So there's always a little bit of uh, wear also of the paint. Some scratches up in here. Just kind of take, take your brush. And again, you don't have to be an artist to do this. There's also going to be wear, dirt grease because you got to grease these so there's always going to be grease stains and we can do that with the chalks if we want but but ag ag again we can put a little bit some areas down in here into the pivoting points and i know you can't maybe see this the best and then on the front of it you're always going to be hitting things too you're going to kind of run in stuff so Go, go ahead and so it kind of gives you an idea on what you can do there you don't have to be perfect at it now then this is a gra in the gravel in industry so I, again I take my pan pastel chalk this is a little bit darker uh, good representation of it and get it on if you want you just Put it on this loader, and there's no rhyme or reason to really what we're doing here. Um, as you can see, you can quickly uh, make a loader become dirty. How, how do you do the tires? Well, it's the same way. You take this chalk... And you just put, run it around the tires. I blow a little bit off. And voila. There's your tires. You come in with uh, a little bit lighter chalk maybe. You could put on uh, a side or, or a tire here. And you could put a little more around. You can get down in here where all the... Uh, grease and stuff is you can kind of fill in some I've got some black chalk too I forgot to mention that and I can take my browns and again you just kind of fill those areas in down there where the pivots are grease and stuff and you don't have to spend a lot of time I'm I'm just going to kind of do this one kind of quick I already went 13 minutes here I'm probably boring you but I'm going to show you how you can, you don't have to be sitting here for an hour or two doing this. Because I did that one loader I showed you first in about 30 minutes. This one I'm doing a little quicker than, than maybe what I should. But I'm just trying to show you some results. The end results of what you can get by just spending a little bit of time on here and you can go back in and and that paint dries quick and I'm and I'm going to touch it up more but I'm just showing you you can go back in here and and there you can have a, a loader that is uh, pretty well weathered in uh, in the dust so that kind of and if you want to add more you you're more than welcome to there's no rhyme or reason here no right or right way so there you go there's about how quick you could do one in what 14 minutes you could have done it in probably 10 if you really wanted but like i said i'll go back and i'll touch it up but I just wanted to show you a quick uh, way of doing it. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, be making more videos a little later on.